different grocery stores to go get some ingredients to make a pumpkin pie from scratch but they don't have any more pumpkins and they don't have any more ingredients so we're just going to have to use stuff that I found at the house like these butternut squash I did find this nice pie crust at the store it was the only one left never had chocolate but looks good to me let's make this butternut squash pie Topped with whipped cream, of course. Okay, does anybody know how to cut a butternut squash? Oh, this seems to be Oh, perfect! Yeah! From my tricks at the ranch. I need to take this tape off it, this supposed organic tape off of it, so we're gonna have to just chop that off. I can't take these stickers off either, but I don't need that part anyway. Here it is, y'all. My butternut squash ready to get roasted for the butternut squash Thanksgiving pie. Sons bitches onto a pan lined with foil, and then you're gonna heat this little senorita up, and when she's hot and ready, we're gonna put that butternut squash straight into her for 45 minutes, or until you can poke it with a little fork or you can use a toothpick or you can use your finger if you got a sharp nail enough. We need a little bit more filling. So I'm going to cut around these here, try to get me some more butternut squash. It just cut my hand there pretty badly, but I did happen to get some more butternut squash from the pie filling. I'm just going to pop that right in there just like that. I'm okay though, folks. The show must go on. <sighs> oh, this motherfucker's still recording. So I did just realize that I wasn't trying hard enough to get these damn stickers off. Ow! Oof. But it's hot and ready and ready to roast. Let's put this little mama right up in this little darling right here. And oh, there you go. In you go, baby. Damn, that gave me grief. It's a tiny little butternut squash. A lot of you are wondering why the pet Dophilus, but this is just so your pet can enjoy it too. Um, you know, those, they look at you, you know, and they stare at you and they make you uncomfortable when you're just trying to eat your goddamn pie. So this, a little bit of this in there, and then y'all can give this to your dogs. Please excuse my voice. I'm just getting tired. This pie is is uh taking the life out of me right now to be honest with you there's some other ingredients that i didn't put in there like the red meal almond flour and the coconut flour um and i don't know about this spice <laughs> and i don't know about this spice right here I, I, it's because i don't have no nutmeg but this is the closest thing to nutmeg that um i could find in my pantry um but this mix is almost done y'all <laughs> and my i only have 24 minutes to little babies come out of this little senorita right here and then we're gonna get to mixing the pie's cooking i'm gonna clean up a little bit and also drink this thing here is my greens it, it helps me go to the bathroom because I have issues going to the bathroom. So if anybody is looking for something to clean their colons with, this thing right here, it's called Green Vibrant. I got it at um, not open source organics, but I got it at um, Sprouts and they have it at Sprouts. I took the last one though on, um, on La Brea. If y'all go there, it's not there. 
because I took the last one and I'm sorry I'm laughing because um, this girl was trying to fight me for this last hair group vibrant. <coughs> oh my god. Um, I haven't drank this in such a long time, so it's a little bit, um, it's a little bit, um, surprising, the taste, but usually it don't, it don't taste bad, you just gotta plug up your nose, and, uh, and drink it, and just don't breathe when you drink it, and just know that it's doing some good things to your colon. I'm ready to pull y'all on out. And, uh, shit, I don't know how I'm going to mash y'all up. Maybe I'll just step on you. Then I'm going to pop them babies out of this sexy scenery that I ran on now. Oh. Ah! How oh. come this little sweet thing ain't taking it all the way like the other one? This one is, that one is, our. We are going to pour the filling right up on, oh shit, I just broke the pie. Fuck my life. Please excuse the language. I'm just really upset right now that I broke this pie because I've just been working real hard and I don't want anything to fuck this up. You know, please excuse my language. Ladies and gentlemen, we're getting ready to pour that baby right on up there. Look at that, that's our near. Damn near pumpkin pie right there. It ain't no pumpkin pie though. It is a butternut squash pie ready for friends giving. I am so excited to try this pie. I just don't know when I should stop pouring. Okay, we got it. My hand started bleeding again, so I had to put my bandage back on. But we're gonna pop this little senorita right on in there into this hot, sexy mama. And we're gonna bake it for about 15 to 20 minutes. And we're just gonna live on a hope and a prayer. We're just gonna put it in there for 20 minutes. I hope this shit don't explode in there. <laughs> I never made this, I don't know. I mean, I see some things sprinkling up in there. So we'll just, we'll give it a check in about 10, 15. But I have to taste my little pie tonight. It's uh, Tuesday night. Thanksgiving, or Friendsgiving, shall I say, is at uh, Thursday, the day of Thanksgiving. Um, but I've heard um, that pies taste better when you let them sit over time. I'm waiting till 10 minutes to open this baby right here. I'm not gonna lie, I did take a little peek inside, did see some things happening. And uh, I'm just excited to try this goddamn pie. Y'all, it is starting to smell so good up in here that my dog, Doug, came over here to see what the hell is going on in here. Because it smells so good. Chuck, don't it smell so good in here? Chuck. Chuck. Don't it smell so good in here, Chuck? Here it is. like a cake. It's delicious. It's Should be able to stick a fork in it. Perfect. That is damn near perfect. Oh sh Um I think it might need a little bit longer, but if I put it in there for longer, this um pie crust is going to burn some more. So we're gonna let it cool and then we're gonna put it in the freezer. So it didn't bake all the way so we're just gonna have to put it up on in the freezer and then bring it on over for Friendsgiving or if it freezes tonight. The crust is burnt. <laughs> <laughs> oh no it's not burnt, it's crispy. It's just extra crispy just how you like it. it looks like squash soup. It's not squash soup, it's butternut squash pie for Friendsgiving, but we're gonna have ourselves a little piece and then I'm gonna call Chris, the neighbor, see if he wants to try a little bite 
since he's been on Master Chef before and see what he thinks about my butternut squash pie. I think he's gonna say it's raw. This isn't this isn't a leaker, it's uh it's your other neighbor. My other neighbor? Um, I was just wondering if you wanna come down and try my pie that I made for Friendsgiving. Uh, <laughs> you're crazy. I'd be more than delighted to give it a try. Well, why don't you come on down then? Oh, I'm going to come on down. I'm going to say hello. All right. I'll see you right. in a bit. Come oh, on, now, neighbor. Come on. Oh, You're all here. This is, I, I was looking for pumpkin pie. I couldn't find pumpkin pie. And so I did a sweet potato pie. How is it? Is it good? This crust is this crust is pretty that good. It's got that chocolate so up in there. Oh know. my god, do y'all like I, it? I really like the flavor of the crust. Do you really? <laughs> I, it doesn't look like you like it too much. <laughs> well, I don't. It's really cold. I, I, okay, let's give a piece on over to the master chef and see how I did on my butternut squash. Butternut pie. squash pie. Oh wait, For you friends no, giving. no no pumpkins, huh? No pumpkin. No pumpkin. You, you told me to improvise. I told you, so, so I, I like how you chose some butternut squash. And, uh, it's a keto. It is keto as well. It's all keto that ingredients. That's bird as shit. <laughs> all right, so so. It's good. Is it burnt? It's good. It's just it's just caramelized. You got you got molasses or sugar in the crust. Um, what well, was in the crust? To tell, describe your dish. So I no, use... As, as Gordon Ramsay said, describe <laughs> this dish. Okay, the so... The fuck am I eating? Half cups almond breeze. Now don't half, give away the, on a secret ingredients. Now, don't give away no, no I was going to put it down at the length so other people could use it for themselves. Okay, so, so I, I, I got to so keep all the secret, secret, secret recipe. All a secret pinch time. of vanilla, a pinch of matcha, and a pinch of uh, this old Pueblo spice. All right, and what's in the crust? It is pre-bought. Oh, the crust. Oh, all okay. that was left. So it's one of them graham cracker crust. Okay. It all was right. already made. So well, I'm going to tell you, now, did you cook this butternut squash puree on the stovetop a little bit? Give it some uh, body. I kind roasted of the liquid. it. You I roasted, roasted it. it. All right, you roasted it. Take some of that moisture. Yeah, that's a good dog. You know what's up. All that right. Is. So oh. what, what, what did you bake this at? 425? 400? I baked it at 375. Okay, 375 would have been good temperature. How long did you bake it for? For 45 That's minutes. That's too long. It's too long right there. <laughs> you should have four at four, uh, 375. I would have hit this at maybe about 30 minutes. 30 minutes because a cool down period. You're going to get that carryover heat. <laughs> that carryover heat. You're going to keep this pie cooking. Are keep, you keeping this bad boy in the freezer? Yeah. I was keeping it in the freezer because there was a little it was a little problem with the filling. It didn't rise. It didn't do nothing. It just stayed hey, well, as a, as well, a You don't want to Actually, this, this filling so is good. I, I want to see what it looks like. What's well, a room temp? So what is it? Is it, does it, is it runny? It's a little runny. It's a little runny. A paleolithic diet. That 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 Yolo, this is what Friendsgiving is all about, and I'm going to put my blood, sweat, and tears into this to make y'all this pie. And I just want to thank y'all for coming over and, and taste testing. People think they're nice. I'm licking the plate, y'all. I'm licking the plate. I love my neighbors, so thank y'all. Happy Thanksgiving. Happy Friendsgiving. Happy Thanksgiving, y'all. I love you. Bye. Crack along if you feel like crackiness is for you. Because I'm cranky, crack along if you feel like crackiness is for you. Crack, 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 cr